sometimes I don't clean my brushes. Sometimes I don't clean my beauty blender. Sometimes I use dirty brushes. Sometimes I just take my beauty blender and I wet it and then I use that to apply my foundation. And that can sometimes go on for a full week before I actually clean it because I can't stand it anymore. It's true. Hi everyone. Welcome back. Today is a great day. It is the start of the May long weekend here in Canada. And it is also what would have been graduation day for Ambrose University. And I send all of my congratulations off to our graduates. Ambrose is where I have taught for the past six years. And in particular, I would like to congratulate Anna Draper, who has been my student for five of those years. And I am oh so proud of her. And I was so happy that her family invited me to their driveway to take a very distant picture from my beautiful Anna and I cannot wait to give you a hug in person. And I know that you enjoy watching these videos because you also enjoy makeup like I do. So this is dedicated to you. Mwah. Today we're talking about how to clean brushes. Hot topic. Lots of different opinions about this. There are lots of YouTube tutorials. This is one of them. But you, if you disagree with me, well, great. This is how I wash my brushes. So I have a whole bunch of brushes. And as you can see, I wore a liquid eyeshadow. This is the Huda Beauty um, Matte and Metal. I love these eyeshadows. I cannot talk about them enough. And they are speck freaking tacular. They do stick like crazy. You can see this, this brush here has got green. I used it to go underneath my, my lids there. So today we're gonna to talk about how to clean these. Not only are we gonna talk about how to clean the brushes, but we're also gonna talk about the beauty blender. The sponge gets stained. So first things first. For your brushes, you're going to need a cloth that's microfibery or even just a towel or I use the kids old face cloths that I had like a gajillion of them when they were babies and I don't need so many now. They make great tools for cleaning your makeup brushes. You can see my blush brush here has quite a bit of makeup on it and I'm just going to try to dust off as much of the powder as possible. Now I do this when I'm just putting on my makeup and I'm trying to change my different colors. As you can see, I've, I don't know if you can see actually, um, there's quite a bit of makeup that's already come off of here. And so I try to dust that off first. So I've done that with the majority of my, this one's got some green on it, just stir, 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 dust it off, dust it off, dust it off. And frankly, this is what I do, you know, in between makeup applications. Definitely not if I'm using my brushes on somebody else. That's gross. They get cleaned and then they get cleaned again. But maybe once a week, I'll just, I'll wash my brushes. So this is a once a week thing. So I'm a busy mom. So once a week sometimes becomes once a month. And then you look back and you're like, crap, it's been a year. Oh, when was the last time I actually brushed my teeth? I thought I did it yesterday. Turns out it's been three days. No, that's never happened. I'm just kidding about that. But moms get it. You get it. Okay. Okay. So now that I've brushed off all of the makeup, I'm going to take my container and I'm going to put some water in it. Then I'm also going to borrow from my children and use their soap because this stuff is really nice and uh, cheap and easy to, it's easy on the brushes. This, this one in particular has no synthetic fragrances or dyes. 
If it can go on my kids, it can go on my brushes. Sounds reasonable to me. So like two or three pumps of this into here with some warm water. And I'm just going to show you what comes next. So I've taken my three pumps of the uh, kid soap, put it in some warm water, and now I'm going to take all of my brushes and I'm just gonna swirl them around in there. Like this. And then, depending on how mucky the water gets, I'm gonna give them a rinse. Dump this out. See, I've got a nice towel here. And press. I'm sort of reshaping them a bit as I dry them off, but most of them have a bit of memory and they will reshape themselves as they dry. The next thing I like to do is lay these out like this so that they're sort of hanging off a little bit and they'll get a chance to dry. So the reason I dry them horizontally rather than vertically is because I don't want any water to drip down into the metal part and cause rusting. These are already pretty dry and as I mentioned Many times before, we live in a very dry environment. These will dry really rather quickly, so probably by the time I'm ready for bed, I will stick these back in their regular container, call it a day. How do you clean a beauty blender? Good question. Let's confess. Do you always clean your beauty blender? Or do you use it dirty? Sometimes, when I'm really lazy, I just wet it and I use it dirty. But you shouldn't do that. So sometimes what I do is I take that same soap on my dry beauty blender, I add one pump, and I rub it in just directly onto the dry beauty blender because then I find it gets absorbed and then I rinse it out and squeeze it out. And then really, it's ready to go for the next application. But you can still see there's quite a bit of staining here. So this is where a magic product comes in handy.
this magic little product is the cleanser from Beauty Blender and it is just like a regular bar of soap. Swirl it around, clean it off, good to go. No problem, no muss, no fuss. Works like a charm in an instant. And I gotta say, and I gotta say, I have had this Beauty Blender for much longer than recommended three to six months, but so far, it looks like new. I hope you have enjoyed all of these tips for cleaning your brushes. Talk to you later. Ciao.